Hey everybody, today we will see how to store some data and use it later in the application. When you store this data, it can be retrieved even after the application is restarted. Usually you want to store some small amount of data, like some integer or string. If you want to store bigger data, then use SQL Lite database. So let's see. In this example we have two activities. In first activity there is a button for starting the second activity. In the second activity there is a button for reading the stored data. So let's go to the main activity and here I have referenced the button and set on click listener for starting the second activity. Now in order to store some small amount of data we need to use interface called shared preferences. So let's declare it here and now just initialize it in onCreate method by typing get shared preferences. Now as you can see we need two parameters. The first parameter is the name of our shared preferences. So let's create a string for its name. Like this. Then the second parameter is the mode. Choose mode private. Mode private ensures that only the application that created this shared preferences will be able to use it. Using other modes allow other applications to also use this shared data, but they are not recommended to use because they can create some security issues. Okay, uh, then shared preferences dot edit dot put string because we will store a string and now here we need a key and a value. Key will be a string called test and we will give it a value like this is a test string. Okay. Then just type dot apply. So now when we start the application our data will be saved. Now for our second activity we can just copy our preferences name string or we can type it manually but we don't have to do it of course. Again we will reference shared preferences using the same method like before. I will call shared preferences when the button is clicked. Then we create a new string and assign it a value from the preferences. So type in string result equals shared preferences dot get string. And here again we need two parameters. The first parameter is our key that we have typed before. So let's type test that is the key and the second parameter is a string that will be used in case there is no saved data under the given key. Then we can quickly make a new toast in order to show the result. Ok, now let's start the emulator. So as you can see the main activity is shown, meaning that our data is now saved. Now we just need to access the second activity and reveal the saved data. So click on start button, then click on reveal result and here you go. We are reading from the shared preferences. Thank you for watching this video, see you next time, bye bye.